Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as the Aztecs. In the previous episode we started our capital and scouted around a little bit and also managed to capture the first worker from Russia which is or I'm quite happy that we managed to capture the work uh, specifically from Russia. Russia is probably the most dangerous save from uh, our uh, opponents that we have in this let's play. So this will definitely slow her down a little bit. Um, also, we discovered this, what I thought to be a lake. So I was very happy about that and um, I wanted to prioritize cities around this area so we can take advantage of our uh, specific building or special building. But uh, before I started recording, I checked the map and I found out that this is actually an inland sea, not a lake. So from an amazing resource, this uh, uh, turned into basically an obstacle, a useless just blob of water that uh, will be blocking uh, city connections with cities that we may start in this area. We will have to go around with roads and of course roads are expensive so i decided to change our focus instead of starting cities here we'll go to the other side and focus on cities on the rivers first either here or here i want to scout this area as soon as possible so that we uh, can see if there are some more resources or something interesting both in this area and here and then we decide where we start the second where the third city and then we can decide there's still or there is still citrus here that we can grab or maybe there's another river to the south so if there are some resources around here maybe you can even go south and just completely ignore the lake there is an interesting tile to the north here on the river that would give us three jade so that's another option, but uh, well, that will be fourth, fifth city maybe. And I'm not even sure that I want to start the city here. We can think about it a bit later. Um, the plan for this episode is basically to start our second city, find the best possible location for it. So let's start playing and also uh, get as much gold as possible to get... Um, some more units because the more units we get the faster and easier it will be to farm barbarians get more resources and that's like the first step in the strategy uh, start the snowball with uh, barbarian farming okay, 11 turns for social policy um, I'm even thinking about just waiting 11 turns before we get a kill here. Just have a look around. I want to have a vision around the camp. Still 10 turns, so it's probably too long. But then it's 41 culture that we get from a kill of the camp. How much money do we have in 10 turns? Huh. Huh. I think I'll wait. Yeah, let's get the culture from this kill. And if you're lucky, we might be able to just kill one more barbarian that spawns in the camp in nine turns. It's actually very likely that they spawn another unit. I don't like to do like barbarian farming in the way that you just send units to a barbarian camp and only kill the units that spawn. That sounds a bit like cheating to me. But uh, if I'm waiting for this kill because I'm waiting for a policy, then yeah, I'll take a barbarian that spawns. Let's just move down in case he spawns here. Come on, don't disappoint me. When I am going 
after barbarians aggressively they spawn a unit every single time and now when I want it they won't do it seriously come on come on well it'll still have five turns let's let's just attack maybe if we attack that will just somehow trigger the proc and they will get some support no it was worth a try three more turns There we go. One turn. Okay, let's do some damage here. This is a little, a little bit risky. But I think it will be fine. And we have the camp prepared for this turn. Yeah, but we can run away, it's fine. Uh, there's authority open there. There's the kill. And... We should be able to run away from the barbarian. Good. Oh, hey, there's another barbarian camp. How much money do we have? Enough for another jaguar that can go this way immediately. I don't have vision here. He'll run away. Well, that works as well. Okay, save us some time. In that case, let's just send reinforcements this way. And we get the Pantheon on the next turn. Good. Okay, now Pantheon. The last time we took Goddess of... Uh, where is it? Uh, Goddess of Renewal. I wanted to avoid it for this let's play. I wanted to go with God of All Creation. That's another overpowered Pantheon. And maybe even stronger than Goddess of Renewal in the very early game. Because you get the, the plus 8 culture and happiness very early. But with the starting location that we have. Especially with the location for our second and third city that will be surrounded. Uh, with jungles and forests. I'm strongly considering going for Goddess of Renewal again. It's not just the first part. I think that the second part is even better. It forces you to go for Herbalists like immediately after you get them. And they are so good. So much food with uh, these city locations. So insane growth. And the science and faith on top of that. Just... Almost like seems like a crime to not take this uh, this pantheon with our starting location, and I'm also afraid that someone else who has a similar starting location takes it. And yeah, it's so easy for the ice to snowball with Gunners of Renewal out of control. But then we could use the happiness. That's a reason for the God of All Creation. I'm really not sure about this one. Let's see. 
we are working or we can be working four tiles that would be two faith two culture immediately with the happiness you know what I really want to avoid taking the same uh, pantheon again so that's like the main reason why I'm going for God of All Creation. Off camera, I'd probably go for Goddess of Renewal. I wouldn't even think about it. But let's try this one. It's still really overpowered Pantheon. So it's not like this is wrong. It's just it's not as strong. Keep going. You can go closer. Or maybe let's move to the other side of the camp so that we have vision from all sides. Next. Come on, keep moving. And because it took me a long time to decide on that Pantheon, I will try to play a bit faster. Uh, yeah, we can attack. Now, for two turns, we can work the food, I think, unless we can shave for the turn, we can't. Okay, give me that camp. And let's explore it this way, then we turn north and explore this whole area. Oh, hey, which one is this? Monies and culture. Oh. That's what I call luck. Okay, we can't afford to lose this location. Twenty-seven turns. That's a long time. Should be able to shave a few turns this way. Twenty-five. But still, we have to explore around here and basically just wait twenty-five turns. Make sure that no settlers can get anywhere close. And if there are some settlers, we just have to stop them. Uh, I really don't want to lose this this location and with so many units around here they are like all the saves that can potentially send a settler this way know about the RL yeah too late we can try to still stop the settler if he is trying to get to the river uh, he'll now have to move without the protection and that might give us a chance, but I don't think so. He'll just start the city here. Come on. No, that's no, that's wrong direction. One more unit. That's all I needed for this. We probably can't kill him, right? If I declare on him, he'll just spawn the city right here. But maybe I can just scare him Sometimes, when you declare in this situation, instead of uh, spawning the city uh, on the spot, the eye tries to run away, which of course would be a mistake here. Yeah, I'll rely 
on the AI making a mistake here. I declare the war. Attack. And I hope that he just moves away. Oh, thank you. Well, now we have to hope that we have enough damage for the kill. We do. Let's just move closer to guarantee the kill. Yes. And also good news is that we managed to take the settler from Assyria, who is I think the second uh, most dangerous save that we have on the map. It's like Russia probably most dangerous, then Assyria and then Japan. The rest should be fine. I'm not saying that the others can't snowball, but it's less likely. Let's keep exploring. I think there are hills everywhere to the south. And we'll escort the worker to our capital. We don't have any use for him for a while, but... It's fine. I'll gladly lose one gold per turn in exchange for a Syrian settler. Twenty turns. Oh, hey. Can we kill this guy? We can definitely slow him down. I think I'll try it. It's a, little, it's a little bit risky sending the work alone. There definitely can be some Australian scout or something like that, but... I'd like to get that warrior. With a bit of luck, we might be able to get the golden age from this war. And more barbarians. Okay, I'll just wait here unless we can. No, we can't kill that guy. We need to heal up. I've taken too much damage. The worker should be safe now. We can grab Tribute. Uh, 14 turns for the Settler. So in 14 turns we should get a Jaguar that will give us Escort for the Settler. And hopefully there isn't another Settler coming from a different direction that would steal the location from us. If there is, we can't do anything about it anymore. I don't want to declare war on another save. That would be probably too greedy. Okay, let's start moving. Oh, hey, India. Are we gonna lose this brute? Never mind. It sucks. Go 
Why is this guy not moving anywhere? to heal and make sure that I kill the brute with two attacks and there is too close there is probably a warrior sitting in the city who would gladly take the kill to fight with him. I just hope that he won't send a settler. I could regret this decision, but it's only a few turns now. We should have our settler in eight turns, then like six turns before we get the city. Let's attack once. And see how much damage we can do. This should work, I think. Good. Next. Oh, hey, another Assyrian warrior. Instead of going north, we'll try to catch him. And, okay, let's make sure he doesn't run south. Good. That's perfect. We can even do some damage already. Um, so there is Assyria. Too bad that we can't get uh, the extra population while we are working on the settler, but uh, in four turns we should probably get to maybe even size six in two turns. Um, yeah, let's attack. He won't be able to run away. Maybe I can even get a kill like this. Sure, why not? Don't need healing, you'll run north and help with that camp. This guy needs healing. And actually, maybe, I'm just thinking, maybe we don't have time to wait for the healing. Uh, what we want to do is get this camp as soon as possible. So I would like to get the next social policy before we start the city. 
because uh, the next social policy gives us culture and science when we started a city. So this will be very close. It will be a waste of resources starting the city like, I don't know, five turns before we get the policy. No, not yet. The reason why I'm refusing the peace treaty is that it's possible he uh, would try to send another um, settler in this direction before we decide to settle a city. You know, now when we get delayed by the social policy, this could give him enough time to get the second settler and try to set the location again. I want to make sure that I still can uh, take the settler if he tries it. Okay, this should be another kill. 21 turns, it's not going as fast as I hoped. Oh, hey barbarian, that's more culture there. We are already making 11 culture per turn, so the barbarian kills don't really give us that much. There, good. Um, let's play it safe, still don't want to lose the pathfinder. Okay, this is safe now. Where do we want to start the city? Definitely on the river, so one of these three tiles. This one is too far from the sugar. I think we'll have to conquer Assyria as soon as possible. They have sugar everywhere. And the monopoly on sugar is one of the most broken monopolies there is. There's probably only one that is better, and that's, I think, copper that gives like 20% production. But if he could get the growth on top of the flat food from citrus. Oh, that would be so good. Okay, how much time do we have? Six turns before we get calendar. So for six turns we can work on the granary. If we start the city here, we'll be on a hill, but then it will take quite a while to get our border to um, uh, the wonder and it's possible that someone then settles a city like here or even here and we just lose the wonder that most likely just hills or mountains to the south this would give us the bananas okay let's just go for this tile Seven turns to grow. I think for a while we can work this tile. Even more food. But in four turns you'll switch into production uh, to get the pyramids faster. Where is the barbarian? I don't want to lose him. Oh, perfect. The RNG is cooperating for a change. You can move closer now. And I probably should move on the hill so that we get vision. 
And now I'm starting to be a bit nervous about India. No, it's still too early. And hello, France. Here, pyramids. We can cancel at the granary for now. Because after that, we either go for more settlers or for herbalists. It will take quite a while before we get to the granary, I think. Okay, 51 turns. That's too long. 43. 44. 47 turns. That's what, that's 14 turns difference and 4 turns on the pyramids. Oh, I want that um, extra settler. And how does it look like border growth? Yeah, we'll get some food from the border growth. So that will help us with the growth. It's not ideal. Here, uh, this is the first time that we see the difference between China and anything else. With China, we just keep growing like crazy with the, uh, the bonuses that we'll, we'll be now getting from uh, uh, the cities that we are about to settle. In 11 turns, we get another settler. But here, we have to prioritize and pyramids are right now more important then uh, um, <laughs> where it's then the faster growth attack attack and you will block that settler maybe i'll be greedy and try to grab him because we can now get the peace treaty from assyria anytime we want so technically we wouldn't be like at war with two sifs at the same time or we can stop at the second war anytime we decide to do so okay mining next oh don't make it too easy for me um, can we survive this I don't want to lose the Pathfinder. What I could do... Uh, where is Napoleon here? Wait, 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 wait. First, let's just... Well, we won't see anything down here. Ten turns. I want to make sure that there isn't a French Pathfinder in this area. That would be very unfortunate. I think we are fine. Thank you. And this guy can now move to the Barbarian camp. And we move away here. I th think we can attack. I don't see any units that could steal the kill from us. I don't want to risk losing the Pathfinder, that's why I'm not going for the kill with him. Ok, 
Okay, five more turns. Oh, no. Uh, maybe another work will be too much. And look at India. I don't have time to wait five turns anymore. This is a perfect location for him. Well, I don't have a choice anymore. Grab one more unit. Now you can move south. And we need shrines because getting a religion will be a bit more difficult than getting the pantheon. Oh, this is pissing me off. Five turns. It wouldn't be even a five turns. With the kill of the archer, it would be three turns. Okay, Assyria. Now we can talk. Oh, where is he? There is our Golden Age. The worker won't be able to see us. I I can't steal him. Where do we go from here? Probably after France. We just have to pressure him enough so that we can get a little bit of gold from him after the war. Well, I have to take the worker. With so many workers, maybe you can build the first road, but building roads early is risky. They are very expensive. Oh, that's a Brazilian special ability he just got his uh, golden age i think and that gives him some insane tourism boost so or culture boost something like that so his culture became dominant for a while okay let's just get out of here Is Japan at war with someone? No. He's probably fighting some barbarians. Okay, let's try to find some French units. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. We have the second city, that's what we wanted. Sadly, we are not able to get everything from the second city. I'm really quite mad about what India did here. Uh, the second city location should be secure. There's no way someone would send the settler here. So we now have enough citrus in the range to secure the monopoly 
And in the next episode, we'll just try to get another favorable peace treaty to make the uh, Golden Age last at least long enough for us to get the Pyramids. That's a nice boost. Okay, sounds like a plan. But as I said, it will be next episode. This one is over. Uh, as usual, I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye. <laughs>